Martin Delaney of the Football Association of Ireland. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, uh, right? Y- you've been in demand over the last while. It's been busy. Yeah, yeah. it's been busy. Um, with the probably the FIFA crisis has been the the biggest thing. We do have big games coming with England and Scotland, which are very important. But I think the FIFA crisis probably has been, you know, the the biggest thing almost has happened in more football for 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 such a long time. And uh, funny enough, we came out and did a BBC interview last week saying we wouldn't be voting for Blatter. And the morning that people woke up on the back pages of papers reading we wouldn't be voting for Blatter, six or seven FIFA officials get arrested out of their hotels. So probably was fortunate yeah. um, that, that that we made that call. You know. Yeah, and and you've been sort of anti blatter for a, a good oh, a long time. Yeah, I mean, in in, in two thousand and nine, I called him an embarrassment to FIFA and an embarrassment to himself. He called me over about that, and I, and I said it to him across the table, just like I'm talking to you, with one or two explosives. Right. To, yeah, yeah. And that was in a room. And so how he, did he react to that? Um, <laughs> he said, "No one speaks to me like that." And you said, and "I said, well, I do." And that was it. So your cards are marked then, right? Well, I think he knew he, he knew how I felt about him. Um, I, I I never liked his modus operandi, his style. Um, I don't want to get too personal about him, but he, he had a huge ego, or has a huge ego. And I never felt he loved the game. If I was being very honest with you, I never felt he had that feel for the game. Um, I love the game. I love grassroots football. I was born into it, and I still play. My best pals are still the lads I played with. I was very lucky that Shea Brennan, who won a European Cup medal with Manchester United, lives in our house for six and a half years. Yeah. You can imagine that. I deliver bread every Saturday morning with a European Cup medal. With so it's, in, it's, in yeah. your, it's in your blood. Yeah. Yeah. And I never got a love for the game from him. It was all politics and how money could be dispersed and all about him. Okay, so how was he elected five times then in a row? He's the best at divide and conquer that I've seen in my life. If people think Charlie Hawhey was a good politician, this guy was the best I've ever seen in action. He was able to make Europe the big bad um, wolf, that all the money was in Europe, all the best players were in Europe, we were robbing from the Africans, the Asians, and he built a, a very strong political base outside of Europe, but was still able to contain 15 countries within Europe. You only had to look at who was appointed as has head of delegations for World Cups or all that sort of stuff to see who he was taking care of in in, in Europe. Indeed, some daughters of some prominent... When you say taking care of, what, they were getting jobs? or Getting roles. They were getting roles, roles, okay. roles expenses. Um, some family members ended up working in FIFA of serious people in Europe. So he was able to get 10 or 12 votes all the time out of Europe. Just explain to people how the voting system works in FIFA. One country, one vote. Ireland have one vote. Brazil have one vote. Right. Andorra have one vote. San Marino have one vote. East Timor have one vote. So, Do you think that's a fair system? Um, it is. <laughs> it is if it works like anything in life. Um, I think but it allowed, it allowed him like oh, yeah. a, a small amount of money to a small country could get a, a very cheap vote. I, I Correct. I remember being at the FIFA Congress in Morocco when the guy from East Timor, East Timor, were just brought in as a member of of um, FIFA, and four times in the East Timorian president's address, he called Blatter Your Excellency, right. and he presented him with a sword of some kind. I turned around to our president at the time, David Blood, and I said, "You know, if Blatter pulls out a gun now and shoots somebody in the front row." East Timor would probably still <laughs> vote for him. And that's how he got revered. And he, he was brilliant at it. I mean, if you're going to give him some bit of credit, and I, I don't admire him at all, but he was resilient and it took a wave of momentum to finally get him to even accept the stepping down. And he, he was brilliant at dividing and conquering and getting the Asians and the Africans behind him. I've never seen anybody better. And he's a ladies' man. Apparently, he's had a few ex-wives along the way. Um, but, but. What, he's 79? 79. Yeah. And what height man is he? About four foot. So is Napoleon complex, <laughs> yeah, is it? A bit like that, yeah. And she met, uh, he met Emma, you know, my, my, my partner yeah. in, in, in Vienna recently, and uh, he stared at her for seven or eight seconds and he said, I approve of your new girlfriend. Ah, yeah. go away. I he didn't say you. that. I swear to you. But maybe he was lost in translation. Is English his first language? No, no, no. No, that was it. And, you know, I just asked him to move on. I approve of your new girlfriend. Yeah. I said, just move on, please. So he thought. He thought that that would flatter you oh, and flatter her. Yeah, that's and it, yeah. And, and, you know, and she, she's a great girl. I mean, I love her very much. And it was an extraordinary moment. She, she was here, she tell you, just stared at her for seven or eight seconds. I approve of you in her girlfriend. Did he give her the up and down thing? Uh, well, stared at her. And right. she stared back. And, and I said, move on now, please. And then he moved. Right. <laughs>
Okay, we, we've spoken a lot about Blatter. I, I just want to find out about this, like the money and the amount of money that's in yeah. soccer worldwide. Uh, but we have to take a break for the news at four o'clock. We go to the newsroom and to Eileen Dunn. And what was that five million? I heard you talking <laughs> the other day. And <laughs> no, we, we, yeah. the no, way it uh, sounded to me was that like we were being a nuisance over the Thierry yeah, no, Henry handball uh, and they said, go away and shut yeah, up and I'll here's five you, million. I'll, I'll tell you exactly what happened there. Um, we We felt we had a legal case against FIFA because of how the World Cup um, hadn't worked out for Sir John Rehan Ball. Also the way Blatter behaved, if you remember, on stage, having a snigger us and having a laugh at us. So that day when I went in and told him how I felt about him, yeah. and there were some expletives used, um, we came to an agreement. We came to an agreement. And that was a Thursday, and on Monday the, the agreement was all signed and all done. Um, it's a very good agreement for the FAI, a very legitimate agreement for the FAI. I'm bound by confidentiality for naming the figure. You've put a figure out there, right? And and fair play to you. But what was the what, what was the agreement? What, what well, it was a payment to the association. To, but to, why was the payment? What? To not to proceed with a legal case. All oh, right. Not to proceed with a legal case. And in there, then they signed. They put in a confidentiality agreement where I can't talk about the, the amount involved. Yeah. Um, you've used a the figure there. Well done to you. All right. Um, okay, well, it's, it's, it's out there. It was a good and a very good, legitimate deal for you. Okay. The so.